Hello, everybody. Today, I'm talking about Jupiter in Aries. Uh, this is a major, major transit. Uh, Jupiter starts a new cycle, uh, and he's going to go through Pushkara, Gandanta, Rahu's influence, uh, and then also being all alone and giving us lots of blessings. Uh, Jupiter is going to be in Aries from 21st of April to uh, 1st of May 2024. So it is a one year transit. Let us explore. Hello, I'm Komela Sutton, and we are talking Jupiter in Aries. Do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification. Jupiter in Aries is from 21st April 2023 to 1st of May 2024. This is a major transit, as I said, uh, because uh, Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac and Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. So as Jupiter is uh, leaving Pisces, it is completing a 12-year cycle uh, and we are coming into the next cycle of Jupiter. And therefore, there are some uh, aspects of life and especially you'll see in the world uh, as well that some things are closing, uh, certain new things are coming in. And, uh, you know, it is uh, very important to see that aspect of uh, the end of the journey. And uh, this end of the journey for Jupiter is also considered like a prale. And prale is a disillusion or ending of a cycle. And I, I would say that on a spiritual level, uh, when we think about it, we think about uh, letting go of some things about uh, the final disillusion is, of course, that you let go of ego and you go totally on the spiritual path. But all of us can think about uh, letting go of some aspect of our life and uh, getting detached and moving on and uh, not allowing that big wave of emotion or big wave of thinking to come. This is a very important time as Jupiter is changing signs and during this time, uh, Jupiter is also going to be Vargotama. Uh, so from 9th of April to 2nd of May, Jupiter's first Vargotama in Pisces and then Vargotama in Aries. Vargotama is a position where a planet is in the same sign and same uh, uh, Navamsha. I did make a video about Vargotama earlier. I'll put a link here so that you can um, listen to that as well. So Pisces to Aries is the only uh, transition where Jupiter will be Vargotama. He's Vargotama in the Pisces aspect and Vargotama in the Aries. And even though it's Vargotama and strong, this is also major transformational energy because this is the only Vargotama where uh, there is a Gandanta as well. And uh, Gandanta will be more sort of uh, 20th of uh, uh, April to about uh, 25th of April where Jupiter is in uh, going through zero degrees Aries. So uh, it is uh, Gandanta as well. Uh, and Gandanta is a bit uh, unsettled, uncertain, uh, but Vargotama too. Uh, so there's strength and there's a change of energy. So lots to think about, multi-layered experience. This is taking place as Jupiter goes into Aries. And then there is another very important factor that when Jupiter changes signs, it is supposed to be Pushkara. And uh, the belief is that all the gods and goddesses come down to earth at this time uh, to bless us all. And uh, this uh, particular energy uh, is 12 days before Jupiter changes signs, 12 days after, from uh, 9th of April uh, to 1st of May. So a number of things happening, Pushkara, Gandanta, uh, and uh, 
Vargotama, all happening together and this big change. And uh, during Pushkara, the important thing is that we are purifying ourselves. In India, uh, the rivers are purified. A lot of people do prayers around uh, different uh, rivers. And you can look up all this information on my website, komela.com. Uh, if you go to resources and library, I have two articles on Pushkara. Plus, I did a video on Pushkara, which I will put a link as well. So the thing about Pushkara is that it's a time of purification. And therefore, uh, the concept of purification is that we are self-improving ourselves. And the, because so many other things are happening, it's good to think more spiritually, not think about making any uh, practical material choices during this transition time. And also, uh, you know, the uh, most important factor is that Jupiter comes under the influence of Rahu. And from 21st of uh, April, when Jupiter is gone into Aries, uh, Jupiter is uh, going to be with Rahu. And this is an applying conjunction till 25th, 26th of May. That means Jupiter is moving closer to Rahu. And after 25th of May, Jupiter goes this direction. Rahu is always traveling backwards. So this uh, transit uh, is called Guru Chandala Yoga. I haven't made a video about that, but I'm planning to do that so that you understand. So Guru is, of course, the divine teacher, the spiritual person who shows us the light. And Chandala is the outsider. So Rahu starts thinking, I am the Guru. Uh, listen to me. It's not always a good thing. Uh, sometimes, yes, it can be innovative and different and you follow Rahu's path. But generally, according to the Vedic system, we follow the Guru's path, Jupiter's path. And uh, therefore, when Rahu interferes, the traditionalists don't like it at all. And I would suggest to you that it is important, especially as Jupiter's in applying conjunction, is uh, you can be having some radical thoughts, you can getting some wrong advice or a desire to expand and do something quickly, Aries energy, you know, uh, uh, hold yourself back, uh, you know, follow some restraint. And especially 25th, 26th of uh, May when uh, Jupiter, Rahu are exact, then you are being very cautious and careful. Now, last time Jupiter, Rahu and the Guru Chandala Yoga was happening was 2016. Uh, 2016, Jupiter, Rahu was much more intense because for six months, they were in the same degree or close by uh, right up to July of 2016. And then they carried on in the same sign as well. So that was a much more intense uh, Jupiter Rahu. I feel this one is firstly, uh, uh, you know, not as intense. Secondly, I do feel that it is undoing some of the extreme things that happened in 2016. And we are uh, thinking about moving on from it because it's a new sign, it's a new energy, and it's seven years since uh, Jupiter Rahu last time did this conjunction. But still, uh, in Jyotish, we are always being careful about Jupiter Rahu conjunction, so I would suggest for you to do that. Now, Rahu and Jupiter actually remain together till 30th of October. So in a distance way, uh, Guru Chandala Yoga is on till 30th of October. After 30th of October, Jupiter is on its own. Uh, it has a no uh, big conjunction, uh, no Saturn, no Rahu, no Ketu. It's done its Rahu conjunction. Or the blessing or the pure blessing of Jupiter will only be after 30th of uh, October till 1st of May. There's very beautiful Jupiter 
uh, with no conjunctions. Another factor of Jupiter Rahu is that eclipses, Jupiter will be part of the eclipses. Uh, this time it's not part of the solar eclipse, but in the lunar eclipse, it's opposite to the eclipse with Rahu and uh, the lunar eclipse is a Ketu eclipse on 5th of May. So there's uh, a lot of things that are happening. And uh, so basically, what we have to think about is this transition. Uh, lots of positive in this transition, but also some difficulties are there. Then Jupiter turns retrograde once a year. So Jupiter will go retrograde on 4th of September till 30th of December uh, 2020. Three, uh, we watch the 4th of September, especially because Venus is going to go direct, uh, Jupiter retrograde, there's some unsettled energy at that time. But generally with the retrograde, you watch the day, it turns retrograde few days either side and when it goes direct on 30th of December. I'll be making a separate video about Jupiter going retrograde. So, uh, you know, you can listen to that around August, September when the time is there. Uh, and then uh, in that retrograde, Jupiter uh, will go backwards towards Rahu, but they don't meet up again. It's uh, quite a distance between them. And uh, Rahu is also retrograding. And then uh, partway through the retrograde, Rahu leaves uh, 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 Aries and goes into Pisces. Uh, and that's a separate story. <laughs> I will talk about that later. Uh, and then Jupiter in Aries from 30th of uh, October to 1st of May. It's a pure Jupiter transit. There is no negative conjunction. And Jupiter is in Aries. And what Aries is in your sign, it will affect you. I'll make separate videos about this. Uh, this uh, video is just about giving you the overall information. Then there is a, a Parivartana Yoga uh, with uh, Mars in Sagittarius, Jupiter and Aries. This is going to be from 27th December uh, right up to 5th of February. Uh, again, I'll make a video later on about it. Mars and Jupiter are friends and the Parivartana Yoga can be very positive for some people, uh, especially uh, Pisces, uh, Sagittarius, uh, uh, Cancer as well, but I'll make a separate video about that. And when I talk about it in how Jupiter and Aries impacts you, you'll hear about that as well. Uh, so uh, this is uh, all that I have to say today. Remember that it is a big transit and we are not being uh, scared about it. It's a change. It's a new cycle beginning for Jupiter in Aries, but that transition is going through the Vargotama, the Pushkara, the Gandanta. Uh, so we are uh, being more uh, spiritual and working with uh, the positive aspects of Jupiter, but uh, tamping down the influence of Rahu, especially in end of April, early May and end of May when Rahu is coming close and close. So we are being conscious of it. So I'm going to end this with the chant for Jupiter and Guru uh, because Jupiter is the Guru. He shows us light when he is in a difficult uh, conjunction like he's going to be with Rahu. Then sometimes that light is not fully available to us. So we are uh, chanting the Guru Mantra. Om Guru Ve Namaha. Om Guru Ve Namaha. Om Guru Ve Namaha. Thank you.